All right, so I hope all of you are having a wonderful day, and I can tell you for certain now, a lot of you will be excited for what I have to announce to you, because yes, we have seen the Jump Festa stuff, and it is looking very, very good, and this is what the community's been asking for. Again, I just hope the devs realize that the best way to tell us stuff is to hype it up and not like the next day, like right before it releases. Oh yeah, this is happening. They could have definitely done this stuff a little bit earlier uh, when they saw the community sort of asking for it because it's been some time, right? The game has been out for a little bit. Uh, we went through two character releases so far um, and, you know, they could have definitely said like, yeah, we have plans like this, 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 and this uh, coming soon. So, you know, there you go. But today they did give us the confirmations. I hope you're ready for it. Uh, leave a like if you're if you are hyped. Uh, subscribe up means a lot to me. A lot of you uh, watching are not subscribed, so please do so. It means a lot to me. Let's hop into it. Let's talk about it. This is My Heroes Rumble's Jump Festa announcements. Let's check it out. So for the first tweet here, battles run in solo. Solo battle mode comes to MHA UR for a limited time, stand alone against 23 opponents in no holds barred rumble. Can you prove you're the strongest? During uh, during this period, two player battle will be unavailable. Basically, uh, when the midseason happens, right, which is a, which is like four or five days away, uh, when that happens, this will be launching, which is a very cool thing to see. Um, this stuff is sad because I don't like that they added solos in the way that they chose to add solos. How did they add solos? It's a limited mode. I'm, I'm shocked they chose to make it a limited mode. Um, to me, it would have made more sense to make it like during a season, but no, it's only like a two week period or a little bit more than a two week period uh, to have this. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, you could have you could have given longer with it. I think that solo battle is like the number one thing being requested um, and then giving it, you know, like that is kind of shocking. Um, definitely, though, I understand why duos is being removed uh, before someone asks, like, why are they removing duos? They have to, right? The players are already very much uh, kind of small on this game. So you're cutting the pool down at three different times. It's going to be very uh, problematic, right? So cutting it down twice is perfect. That's how they're going to do it, right? Because it's going to be solos and then it's going to be trios where it's it's good. It's good that way, right? So definitely, I like it. Uh, I am shocked that they made it a time-limited thing. That, to me, is going to annoy a lot of players, but it could also be just them testing and trying things out uh, to see how it goes. So a great announcement for a lot of people that just don't have, you know, uh, the ability to invite somebody. Uh, they can now queue properly and get some nice wins. So a very, very cool announcement there. It will kick up again 12-20, uh, so four days away, and it will end 1-8, so you have plenty of time uh, during the holiday season. Go and enjoy uh, while you're on break, while you're on vacation and not just have fun and you know get into some solo battles it looks pretty nice beyond that we have the announcement number two new pur costumes incoming it's going to be the parallel world costumes that will be available via the pur later this season we have the costumes over here i looped it already so you can take a look we have bakugos we have todoroki's we had deku's up first we do have Uraraka's, and we do in fact have froppy three uh different characters that i want so i'm gonna have to hope to get them um will i be summoning people keep asking like is it worth it um i don't know if they're limited right people are saying that they're not limited so if they're not limited they're gonna appear constantly and just be on the other rate up so to me if you want to skip you can just wait to the next character and then summon when they're on the like supporting roster but again we don't know right we don't know if they're gonna even pop up as supporting roster we don't know if this needs to be like a rerun mechanic we don't know right but most likely um, if you want to like put in a few summons here and there, it's five different cosmetics. If you like three out of five of them, then you can consider doing it. But it's a rough one, right? Because, you know, you don't want to like dump the summons in and not hit pity and not get anything. Um, so I don't want to give you the, right, the wrong opinion here uh, or the wrong statement. I'll just say if you like them that much that you're willing to spend, some, you know, summons on them, go for it. Uh, while you're summoning, you have a chance to get like Endeavor, uh, Aizawa, and the other two. Uh, if like if you're missing a lot of stuff and it's worth it to you, just do it. But um you know i always recommend to summon when you have pity so you can guarantee at least something uh but it is fully up to you so there is that is there anything in this thing that i'm missing i'm just curious is there anything like in the back here like an easter egg i don't know if this game actually does anything like that some games do it right i don't know about this one so we have uh bakugo uraka we have ida back there um over here you have vine yeah it doesn't look like there's any sort of easter egg <laughs> I was I was kind of coping. I was kind of coping, but yeah, pretty cool little announcement. Um, Parallel World Cosmetics coming very very soon. Last announcement for today. Are you ready for this? This is the biggest one. I was sad. So like how my hype went was because this was tweeted first, right? So I was depressed because I'm like, that's it. You you told us to watch Jump Festa to just get this. Then then this came out. I'm like, you told us to watch Jump Festa for this too. Skins and solos, but no. The main big big gimmick, the main big thing from Jump Festa is in fact. A new field of battle awaits you, heroes and villains. Take a peek at the new map upcoming in Season 3. And let me tell you, 
three or 2.3 thousand likes that fast is amazing. People are so hyped for this. Like, look at the difference, right? You have 1K over here, 2.3K. Look at this, look at this. Solos, it's hyped, 1.4K. And this was tweeted last. You need to realize this had more hours. This had more hours, but this was tweeted last. And 2.3K, the entire community is hyped. I will say this right now, all right? I don't know why people are complaining so heavily over this, being because if you are like, it's still the, it's still uh, the same base game. Uh, this game is going to be like dead because a map won't fix anything. I have no idea why people are saying that. I'm lost. It's a battle royale. What do you, what more do you want? You're playing a battle royale. Yeah, it's the game just launched. You just had time with it, being only a little bit. Um, if you want like core game mode changes, you'll have to wait. It's not going to happen just now. But a brand new map, and this one also looking very exciting. I do not know why players are super depressed about it, but um, I've seen a lot of complaining today. It's insane to me. Like, all I really wanted was a map. That's it. That's all I wanted. I think that a new map is about, like, 60 days to, like, 120 days worth of content. I think two seasons is what that's worth. So if they do a new map every two seasons, I'm okay with that. I'm, like, ecstatic for that, right? Now, they do a character each season also. They also, here and there, give us things like solos, give us things like... I mean, it's very easy to, like conceptually think of the idea of blitz i uh, just duplicate the uh floor loot and then make the zone go two times faster so there's so many things they can do when it comes to that also but dude this this is nuts being able to get a map like this i, I really don't know why players are complaining so heavily um and i've seen a lot of it and i, I don't get it right whether it be like oh it's still the same core game uh it's still the uh, same core areas we know these things i i can't believe i saw that today but uh, and it was a lot of people that's why i'm saying it but I'm happy that at least, you know, people in the community saw like 2.3k likes is a nuts thing uh, for this tweet to have right now and that fast. So I'm I'm happy to say that, yeah, this is a very, very hype thing. Um, and I, I think that they cooked. I think that this is worth their hype up. If this, if this was the only thing announced today, this and you know, something that we already knew, if these two things were tweeted today only, I'm telling you this game would be rough. <laughs> for the next two weeks, everyone's going to be blasting the game. But given we got a map announcement, I'm very happy to see that. And coming soon, you're going to get a character announcement. You heard it here first. Uh, most likely that has to happen. Again, I'm not going to talk about the information that's floating around right now, but I'll save that for the future when it gets a little more safer uh, to talk about it. But yeah, you're going to get a character announcement soon. Um, and that character is a, is a fan favorite. It's a character that people have been begging, begging, begging for. Um, and they did promise a character uh, per season. So they should start to hint and ramp up into hyping the character up uh, pretty soon. I think they're done tweeting for today. I waited like three hours to cover this video because uh, I didn't want them to like tweet and then like have to like, you know, fill your feed with another video. Um, so that's it. Yeah. New map. Let me know what you think about it. Is it a W? Is it an L? Uh, we do have um, new cosmetics again coming soon. So our, our mid season is looking a little bit a little bit stacked, right? You do have solos that go in uh, partake in, which the meta is going to be very fun. Um, I, like I, I was thinking like, who is the best solo character? And I was just thinking like, could you imagine in this mode? Um, Aizawa mains like if you think about it Aizawa in a 1v1 is a very different sort of battle I'm so curious on how Aizawa does here because solos will be his thing he's a very like situational character on the aspect of if he gets jumped when there's two players he can't do anything but in a proper 1v1 Aizawa is sort of a menace right it's also like the same thing for a character like um I, I would say Dobby right Dobby when he's getting attacked by multiple players is a little bit rough like I really think that in, in this mode so many like underused characters are going to have so much potential it's not even funny just because the meta is going to be so different right a 1v1 with a dobby versus like a bakugo a lot can happen in a very good manner for the dobby to be profitable in a way right so i'm very curious what happens here but this cosmetics and this i personally genuinely think they cooked here please let me know what you think i'm really curious there uh do you really think that the game is still dead with this being a new edition uh that being a season three map um i've seen various opinions today that's why i'm asking i'm not trying to like create any drama here um in the aspect of like thinking like you know players are really mad here but i've seen it and i don't know why that is the case so i'm curious what you think right so leave a comment down below please let me know what you think about this but i think that a map is exactly what was supposed to be cooked up here and the proper thing for season three i think that's pretty great so i could be wrong uh, and by the way it looks like uh, people are asking also what what map is this it looks like an island <laughs> so i have no idea right it's not the one from the movie, right? I'm clearly thinking it's not the one from the movie because, like, UA is... I think that's UA, right? UA is literally here. So I have no idea. It's some sort of OC thing, bro. But they have, like, a mall over here similar to TSH. I don't know what this is. I don't know what map this is from uh, or where they're getting this exactly. But it's it's an OC thing. We know that right now, right? It's not like a big, big... I don't know. Is this, like, a POI in, in a My Hero anime? Like, is that the mall over there? That's, like, the mountain. Um... I have no idea. It's not like something that I've, I've seen like connected. But if you've played TSH, it's a very similar area, uh, the one mall area here, which is kind of cool. But 
yeah, there's that. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Let me know what you think about this. Is it cool? Is it not? Uh, but very good announcements today. In my opinion, the dev's cooked. So let me know what you think.